narrative, this like boss babe narrative around direct sales where it's like, I work from home in my pajamas and I get like paid to post on my social media. So why aren't you? Sorry. You know, you know what I'm talking about? So uh, I, I guess what I would have to say to that, um, well, well, let's take a step back. How many people do you know who are really, really like successful and killing it in their direct sales companies? You probably know a couple. And then how many people do you know who like try it and they like fizzle out? You probably know a lot of people like that too. So it's like, what, what is it? What's the truth about it? What's the truth? Fair question. And I feel like I would be wondering that myself if I wasn't in it. The truth is, in any company, the opportunity is the same. Um, so really, the difference is in how people look at it. I, I mean, there's a lot of factors, but like how people look at it. Um, because some people come into it and they're like, this will be so easy. I'll just like post on social media like that girl that I follow. And then everybody will be in my DMs like ready to buy. And when that doesn't happen, they're just like... They're just so off put by it and they fizzle out so easily because it didn't come easily. But then there are some people who get into the, into this kind of industry and they're like, okay, what do I need to, to know? What do I need to learn? And they're so down for the process. They're so down for learning, for becoming, for, you know, reading, for being mentored, for following down six times and getting up seven um and they're just so bought into the process um and they don't treat it in their mind like oh this is just like a little thing that I do they're like this is a thing that I do and I want to do it well does that make sense last thing is whether you've tried this kind of thing before you're in this kind of thing um you would never do this kind of thing you know maybe you're a teacher you're a principal um maybe you're you know a doctor maybe you work at Dairy Queen and anything in between to be really truly great at what you do it takes it takes leadership and so the first part of leadership is leading yourself and that requires a lot of self-growth and self-awareness and um becoming and the second part of leadership is leading others, which really just means serving others. So whether it's serving people on your shift, serving your classroom of second graders and their parents, serving, you know, your toddlers, or in my case, you know, serving my team and my, the leaders under me, if you're not serving, then you're doing it wrong. Okay. So if you're, if you feel like you're in a rut, um, check that start by, am I leading myself well? And am I serving others? Ha <laughs> ha